What is going on, people? And please, I beg of you this, tell me. What are some things that you just merely can't have enough of? I mean, there's a ton of that stuff, but today we're talking about this. A way, way too aggressive of an intro, I suppose. Um, but Paracord and Chem Lights, dude. Like, how are you supposed to LARP as hard as the other kids on the block um, before sunset if you don't have enough Paracord and Chem Lights? Seriously. I mean, this this is literally the only thing that will save your life in a LARPing situation. Um, I digress, but... Paracord for real is one of the most useful things that you can have, and uh, it's pretty simple, okay? Its uses are pretty simple. Um, you guys could look them all up if you'd like. <laughs> but, um, what do you guys know about this? What do you guys know about the Tax Shield? Uh, lifetime warranty, and supposedly, and I gotta believe them because it's marked on there, right? Made in America, like it should be. Mil-spec durability, strong braided nylon, thousands of uses. 550 cord. This is their Coyote. There's the part number. And this is 100 feet of paracord. 100 feet of paracord. If you guys are not familiar with what paracord is, um, it's cord, right? It's cordage. And then internally, it has, uh, it has seven more strands that you could use and break down uh, and get extra length out of it. Giggity, I'm sure a few of y'all out in the comment section could use that. And then um, also fishing wire, you know, whatever it is. Some of them you can get specific survival style paracord uh, hanks that have little fire starter strands and stuff built into them. Um, but... Useful, right? Cordage. You could use this to latch stuff together, uh, attach things together, tie things down, hoist things up, uh, repel if you know what you're doing and you have enough of it and whatever if that's all you got. There's a lot of stuff, literally thousands of uses uh, that you could have paracord be used in uh, to sound absolutely ridiculous <laughs> but like legitimately it's such a simple thing it's literally just rope mill spec style rope cordage uh which is one of the c's of the several survival c's people uh and you need to have it and it's cheap enough i literally paid five dollars five something for this hundred feet of coyote paracord um you can do a lot, and especially when you take the inner seven strands of it. Now, technically, you have 700 feet, um, maybe even 800 feet, you know, depending on how you utilize this stuff as far as whatever you need to do with cordage. And there's, again, a lot you can do with cordage. Little glow sticks. We remember these as kids, right? We're, we're all kids. Here's some, here's some glow sticks or some chem lights since we're high speed and low drag and tactical. Same thing, tack shield. Um, contains 10 6 inch 12 hour 6 inch on a good day depending on if I was in, I was in the pool I was in the pool do women know about shrinkage so anyway um here we go tactical light uh 100% waterproof non-flammable and non-toxic you can eat these <laughs> produces no heat no sparks safe and easy to use why would one use such a thing you ask especially if we're not you know military or law enforcement us silly villains have no right being prepared and armed and ready for whatever to protect us and ours and our rights and civil liberties and we should have we shouldn't have what, what do you what, what do you need all this for um Readiness, response, relief, and restoration. Natural disasters. Safe for indoor use in homes and shelters. Uh, green means go when you throw it in a room, right? So, like, it's oh, it's clear. Boom. There you go. Uh, red, you know, stop. Maybe maybe it's not clear, although if you just tossed a red one in there and there was a bad guy in there, they might have already shot you. Um, who knows? I don't know. I'm, not, I'm a nobody. I'm myself just a patriotic civilian. Um, never worked for the government. Never will. Training, training exercises, okay, that's the LARPing, that's when you need to LARP, okay, so right here as a use on the box uh, that it's telling you for your LARPing needs, these are good, so you want to have, we all LARP, we all do it, so you want to have a plethora, a myriad, maybe even a gaggle of glow sticks, I would argue, for your, for, for your LARPing needs, right, um, public safety, 
I'd like to be safe in public, uh, you know, you know, from all the crazy, tyrannical, uh, Nazi, fascist-style people that are out there. Um, which is funny, because they, they, they say those things about people like me, but I'm the furthest thing from it, and, but th they're actually being that... I digress. Anyway, how do we use these? Have you ever used a, a, a glow stick? A, a, a chem light? A little glowy boy? Well, all you have to do to activate is bend, snap, and shake. Twist it. Pop it. Smack it. Spank it. Giggity. Um, made in accordance with commercial item description for NSN 6260-01-074-4229. Uh, and supposedly an expiration date of July 2025. And, uh, there's the, uh, there's the skew or the part or the whatever. And, uh, again... Made in the U.S. by proud Americans. I like that. I like that. So, and these were like, these were like uh, ten or twelve bucks or something for ten of them. So basically, a buck or a little bit more than a buck a piece. And I'm about to burn one here for you guys right now, just to give you a little bit of demonstration. You know, you know, you can't have a YouTube tabletop with a little bit of demo in it, right? Did somebody say demo? Is that is is that, did somebody say did somebody say that? more on this later? Stay tuned. All right, and since I'm an intellectual and I don't just use my hands like a savage, I'm going to eloquently um, use this tool unnecessarily. This is an oldie, oldie, but a goodie old case with real stag handles on it. Those are real bone. This thing's been there and done that. And uh, it's not even sharp, really, and I don't need it at all to do this, and will probably end up hurting myself. But no, there we go. I have been successful on camera for the first time in ages. Here's a little glow stick. Let's turn the lights off. Stay. Get cozy. Please try this Cosby cocktail I've brewed up for you. Does this lighting set the mood better for you? What about now? Or now? How about now? No. Should we push it even further? You just want to go completely dark? Bravo 6, we're going dark. And we're still not even going dark. Here is a glow stick, though. And you know what? It's just, this is such a pain in the ass because there's literally so many lights around here. All right. Ooh. <laughs> Shout out to the freaking strip lights. Okay, so here is, a, that looks, it looked good for a minute at least. Uh, here is the glow stick, right? The chem light. And uh, what do you got to do? You got to snap it. Ooh, dude, it's like a freaking lightsaber, bro. Okay, you snap it, crack it, and shake it. And uh, here we go. This is a chem light, and this is what a chem light looks like. Um, at least through the camera, it looks way cooler. Uh, just normal eyes, you know. Let's see here. Let's get a little, uh, little bit of decoration too with the night bright or the light bright. I always want to call it a night bright. I don't know why I want to call it a night bright, but here's some nostalgia for you as well as sending a positive message. Uh, free men do not ask permission. Okay, exercise your rights, people. Make sure you do that. But anywho, these things are sick. Um, extremely useful in a wide variety of situations, whether you're camping, you're hiking, you know, you're just whatever, you're in the woods, you have some of these in the car to signal in case you get into a wreck or whatever, you got to put them on the ground, um, around the vehicle, you know, as like little hazard signs or whatever, flag somebody down. You could also conveniently check this out, although the lighting's not the best right now, you could use your paracord, tie it around this, and then wave it around, and that draws a lot of attention. Or you could just go to, um, you know, some kind of rave with a bunch of children that are popping Molly or whatever. I don't know. I have still have not been able to find her. Um, but that's what the word on the street is. You know, for it's either this or you're kicking doors. Um, but dig it. Super cool. And you really truly cannot have too many of these or a lot of things, okay? Oh, here we go, look, map reading. 
concealing, you know, not bringing a bunch of light to your environment. Okay, if you're in the woods and you're trying not to be seen, this is a great way. This is a great way to use as identification or whatever. There's a million and one uses for something like this. Even if you're not even into, let me say even one more time uh, and keep being odd while I'm at it. Even if you're not into the tactical preparedness, home defense, self-defense, life and liberty, big igloo, whatever the hell, um, still a bunch of uses for these things, and they're just cool. They're fun. Pass them out at the bonfire, give them to your kids, 4th of July, whatever. A couple chem lights laying around, probably not a bad idea. And uh, the more cordage, the better. But you might want to learn how to tie it into a daisy chain, because this is already tangled. So anyway, people, that's the video. I figured I'd just share it with you. Be goofy. Uh, this literally, make sure you like the video, share the video, and comment down below how autistic, I mean artistic I am uh, for this. This literally took me like 30 to 45 minutes to do all this, uh, and dropping pieces and then losing pieces and whatever, and then I didn't have enough colors for everything, and all just so I could be this much of a dork in this video and show you this with the lights off. So I don't know people, I don't know why I do things sometimes and at least maybe some of y'all can get a, get a chuckle out of it. Um, but chem lights, man, they are a useful thing even if you are not high speed and or low drag. Cordage, same thing, okay? You should have a few hanks of this, few hundred feet at least um, in the truck. Maybe have a few of these in the truck, in the bug out bag, in the get home bag, in the survival in this bag in your hunting pack in whatever okay um simple little stuff cheap little stuff you know these maybe about a buck a pop maybe you can get them cheaper depending on what brand again i don't know too much um about these tax shield ones six inch 12 hours mil spec it says and again we saw earlier that it said you know built to the same nsn spec or commercial spec of the nsn variant or whatever so i mean it's a real chem light it's claiming to be uh, i just like the way that they look this is my favorite color green and it's not even the same green coming through on the camera that my eye picks up but chem light green is uh it's a sick color it's kind of similar to night sight green uh whatever like a neon toxic green just sick, cool, fun to play with, useful, have them every time I get a chance to buy, you know, a couple chem lights or a little bit more paracord or a little bit more this, a little bit more that, a couple extra bandages, you know, Israelis, whatever, another tourniquet, another spare mag, another whatever, um, buy it. You got the you got the money now. You might not have it later. The item might might not be available later and later. You might actually need that item. So, I don't know, guys. Leave it in the comment section below. Very much so appreciate you guys watching. I love you guys. Make sure you check the first three links in the description box below. Those are to help you fight for your God-given, inalienable, constitutionally protected, and reaffirmed, but inherent by birth gun rights. Okay? And understand, too, it's not just the guns. It's the accoutrement to go with it. Know how to use it and make sure you have it. Uh, but do your part and stand up and speak out. If we don't protect what protects us, there's nothing left because we can't do nothing about it. So either way, that being said, I appreciate you guys. If you want to support the channel, plenty of ways to do that. Links pinned in the comment section, link tree in the description box, Harry's Holster, Shoot Steel, whatever it is. Um, always appreciated, never expected. Main thing is liking, sharing, commenting, interacting on the channel, pushing that anti-gun algorithm out of here. Very, very, very much so appreciated uh, for, for all the participation that you guys, the main veins, all you dicks out there that watch this and uh, keep coming back for more. Appreciate it, guys. And the one or two and a half girls that watch too. Appreciate y'all. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Spooky.